if you could perhaps clarify what brain atrophy is for MSs who perhaps don't know what that means, just okay. so they have a better understanding of what that terminology is. Okay, so brain atrophy mm -hmm. um, describes the process that all of us are having happening at the moment as we speak. Everyone in this building, their brains are atrophying, which means that very slightly, year on year, they're losing a tiny percentage, okay. not even a whole percent, of their um, brain volume. Mm -hmm. And that means really the number of nerve cells that they have in their brain, which is like, you know, a huge, as you all know, it's a huge sort of a telephone exchange of mm -hmm. switches and connections that kind of makes everything work. So what happens with people with MS and some other diseases mm -hmm. is that their rate of loss of nerve cells mm -hmm. and therefore volume of the brain is slightly quicker in terms of the loss okay. but it's not dramatic so if you think about you know if you think about a starry sky imagine they're all sort of nerve cells mm. um, if I showed you a picture and I'd taken 10 or 20 stars away from one slide to the next you wouldn't see that no one would but over time that handful of stars that's going out over and over again mm. gradually adds up and for people with MS that adds up to more than people who don't have MS okay. So it's slight, but over time it's significant. Right. And so the more uh, nerve cells you can keep healthy and happy mm -hmm. and firing in a perky and helpful way, and therefore the more brain volume you can keep, mm -hmm. the better your function will be in terms of cognition, in terms of physical function. Okay. So that's really the atrophy story.